Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to another Lord of the Rings LCG Nightmare Mode playthrough. In this video, we're going to be having a look at Conflict at the Carrack. That's the second adventure pack from the Shadows of Mirkwood cycle. So this is one of the better quests from that cycle. Really fun, cool quest. Well designed, I think. And for that reason, they haven't really changed anything fundamental about the Nightmare version. You still have to fight uh, unique trolls and kill the unique trolls to win the game. They've just made it harder, so as usual they've taken out most of the weaker cards, and they've also taken out the unique ally, Grimbeorn the Old, who could help you to defeat the trolls in normal mode. You could find him in the encounter deck and recruit him to your side and then use him in the combat phase, um, but you can't do that anymore. And they've also taken out the original versions of the four trolls and replaced them with upgraded, stronger versions. And they've also introduced a new sub-theme there, where the more trolls you kill, the stronger the ones in play get. So you can see there on Stuart, um, it says while he's in the victory display, each troll enemy gets plus one defense and gains cannot have attachments, uh, cannot have player attachments anyway. So that's going to stop you from playing traps in this quest for a start. And so they've all got different things. So Rupert uh, says the defense of each troll enemy cannot be reduced. Morris is going to give all troll enemies plus one attack and give them immune to player events. So no fainting them. And Lewis will um, cause them to gain a forced effect, which says after this enemy attacks, the defending player must raise his threat by one. So that's a cool sub theme they've added. They've also um, brought in a couple of new trolls in the encounter deck itself. Uh, that one there, which gives plus one hit point to each troll enemy while uh, the savage hill trolls in the victory display. So there are a few of those. So the trolls can get plus three, maybe plus four health if you happen to see all of those guys. And they've got the hill troll from the core set, always a nice enemy to have to deal with. And then they've just added a few nasty locations, so that one's particularly bad. Hives and Hives deals one damage to each character in play after you place any kind of progress on it. So you definitely don't want to play Northern Tracker on that one. So one thing they've also added in this Nightmare version is a forced effect to the Nightmare card. And that says, at the end of the quest phase, if no progress was placed on the current quest this phase, place one progress on the current quest, bypassing the active location. So the reason they've put that there is because in the normal version, one way to beat this quest was to just sit at stage one and do as little progress as possible, probably none, maybe let your threat go up. And you could just sit there for ages, build up a huge army of allies, and then bring the trolls down when you're ready and completely slaughter them. Um, but you can't do that anymore because if you don't place any progress, this is going to put one for you. So really you've only got a maximum of six or seven turns um, before you have to deal with the trolls. So that kind of um, increases the intensity of the quest and means that your deck really needs to be ready to attack and defend um, pretty quickly. They've also given a response effect there. After defeating a unique troll enemy, you may choose and discard one sacked card from play. So you've got this sack treachery which attaches to a hero if you reveal it and it counts as a condition attachment with the text attach hero cannot attack defend commit to a quest trigger its effect or collect resources so it makes them completely useless effectively um, so i guess they've added that so that you don't necessarily have to run condition attachment removal to get rid of that card you can kill enemies uh, or kill unique trolls anyway to discard those sacked cards so the deck that I'm going to be using to um, play this quest is a Hobbit deck. We've got the lineup of Hobbits from the Black Riders expansion, Pippin, Merry, and Sam Gamgee, and they work really well together. They're great in this quest for a couple of reasons. One is because they've got low starting threat and they benefit from engaging enemies that have higher engagement costs than your threat, which all of these trolls do, and they're actually 37 when considered in light of Pippin's ability. And another reason is because in this scenario there's a treachery um, that will raise your threat by the total threat of the staging area, but you can discard a creature to cancel it. And that's why we've got Bill the Pony in the deck, three copies of him, um, because he can be played for free. You lower the cost to play him by two if you control Sam, which we do, and we'll just discard him to cancel that treachery if we happen to see it. This deck is actually based on the Sting Like a Bee deck, posted on Rings DB from Tales from the Cards. Really good deck, I just made a few tweaks to it, so I increased the number of Build the Pony in the deck. Um, I think I just maybe took out the Elf Stones, and I added the new Halberad. Uh, let's see if we can find him a second. Oh, on the top of the deck. Um, because 
he gives enemies engaged with you plus 10 engagement costs, so he really allows you to keep um, Pippin and Sam's abilities going for uh, much longer in the game and combos excellently with Hobbit Cloak and Dagger of Westerness and the various other things that Hobbits want to do. So what I'm going to do now is cut to a playthrough that I did last night. Um, I thought it was a really good playthrough. Um, there are some small maths mistakes in the playthrough towards the end, so I hope you'll forgive those. Um, a couple of questing calculation errors, but they wouldn't have altered the outcome of the game. Any um, quest points that I might have missed could have been accounted for by the allies I had on the table. So let's cut to that one and we'll see what happens. Um, so looking at my opening hand, it's okay, um, but I think we want to see some uh, more attachments for Sam. So I'm going to take a mulligan here. Um, mm, mm, not great, but we'll, we'll stick with it. Uh, so we flip that one over and then we follow the setup. So we add the character to the staging area. We've got the trolls out of play and then we shuffle one sacked card per player into the encounter deck. So shuffle that up and we'll start the first turn. Alrighty, so I'm going to do Daryl's rune, see what I can dig for. One, two, and let's discard an errand rider. And then we'll play the other one. One, two. And we'll get rid of Taste It again, because I didn't really find that one that useful in my first playthrough anyway. Um, so questing, we've got one, two in the staging area. I'm probably just going to quest for three here, and we'll see what comes. So reveal one. Okay, Muck Adder, perfect. So we're up against three, and we quested for three. No threat raising, but we have to put one progress on the quest card. Um, for the forced effect of the Nightmare card. So we'll put that on there. And we can't travel to the Carrick. So we're going to engage the Muck Adder. Now he's 20, but he's actually plus 3 from Pippin, so he's 23. Um, so he's going to come down, and we're going to draw a card off that for Pippin's ability. And I'm going to ready Sam, and he gets plus 1 defense until the end of the round. Shadow card for this. Now we'll take a risk and defend with Sam. Uh, if attacking an enemy is a troll, remove four damage tokens from it, so it's not, so no damage. Uh, that's got a really nasty forced effect. If it damages a character, discard that character from play. So we definitely want to avoid that. Um, but now we can attack him back for one, two, three, four, and kill it. So we don't need to worry about him anymore. So now we'll refresh, turn two, and that's a nice pull. So we'll play Steward of Gondor onto Sam for two. We'll just use it to get the resources back straight away. And then we'll play the Gondoran shield for one. So he's going to be three defense now. And I'm tempted on fast hitch on Sam to make sure we can defend as much as possible. So we'll play that one. And I also like the look of the Errand Rider because I can start to move some resources around. And I could even play Faramir next turn then, who's going to help us to... Um, control what we quest for. So we'll play that guy for one. Now questing, I'm just going to quest for three again. And we'll reveal one card. Okay, Hill Troll. So three against three, no progress, but we have to put one from the effect of the Nightmare card. And I could engage him, but I'm not ready to defend him. I'd be defending for four, and he's attacking for six. So I'm just going to leave him in the staging area for a while. So Refresh and go to the next turn. So we'll do two for Steward of Gondor. And then I'm going to play Faramir for four. One, two, three, four. Uh, yep. And he's going to help us uh, control what we quest for, like I said. So now I'm going to go to the quest phase. And we've got three in there. So if I, uh, if I quest with Sam, sorry, then I could go up to four with Faramir. Maybe I should quest with Pippin and Merry for four, reveal one card, and then go up by two. Uh, so let's do that. We'll do one, two, three, four. And we'll reveal one. All right, Savage Hill Troll. So four exactly, so no progress again, but we get one from the quest card. Now this guy is 24 engagement cost, and if I bring him down, I can tank him, um, but I can't kill him. So maybe it would be preferable to leave him in there and deal with him next turn. So I think I'm going to do that. 
So we'll refresh. Okay, Elrond. So we will use Steward of Gondor and get two on Sam. And then I'm going to move one from Pippin to Sam. And I'll play Anborn for four. So he gives us a nice, a nice plus three attacker. And I can also boost engagement costs with him. Hopefully we'll see a Gandalf soon. So I can sneak attack him into play and draw some more cards. Alright, so questing, we've got four in the staging area. So I'm going to quest with Sam and Pippin, I think, for five. And we'll reveal one card. Okay, hives and hives. So we're going to go up to seven in there. And luckily I can use Faramir to give plus one willpower to both of my questers. So they're going to be seven, so we draw even again. It's going really nicely so far, so we're going to get one progress on there. Now I'm going to engage this Savage Hill Troll, who's 24 engagement cost. And I'm 23, so I get to ready Sam and draw a card with Pippin. He'll get a shadow card. So I'll defend with Sam, he's defending for three. And reveal that. Ooh, plus two, that's nasty. Um, so uh, he's actually defending for four, sorry, because of his ability. So he's going to take one wound from that guy. And then we'll ready him. And he's attacking for two now. So we can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that will kill the Savage Hill Troll. So I'm going to put him over there so I don't forget the um, stacking ability. So now all troll enemies, I've got one extra hit point because he's in the victory display. So we'll leave that one in the staging area. And I'm going to travel there on turn uh, when we've got six on there. So let's refresh now. Hobbit Cloak, great. So you steward of Gondor, and we'll play the Hobbit Cloak onto Sam. So he's now going to be plus two defense on anything that's uh, higher than my threat. And I think I want to start trying to get down one of these big guys. So let's move a resource from Sam to uh, Pippin. And I didn't pay for that Hobbit Cloak, so we'll take uh, a resource from Sam for that one. So next turn I'll be able to get down Gildor and Glorin and Bayorn, and that will let me deal with that hill troll, no problem. So quest phase, we are up against six. So that's a bit more than I'd like, so we'll do one, two, three, four, five. And we can do six, seven with Faramir. We could also sneak attack someone if we have to. Um, that's not really going to help us that much, so one, two, three, four, five. Uh, if we go up by one threat, it won't be a huge disaster. The most we could reveal is probably three, so we'd go up to nine. So let's put in Merry as well, because I'm not planning on killing anything this turn, as far as I can see. So reveal one. Massing at night, reveal X additional cards from encounter deck, X is the number of players in the game, so reveal one. Roasted slowly, when revealed, destroy all heroes with the card sacked attached, then shuffle roasted slowly back into the encounter deck. Well, nobody is sacked at the moment, so that's just going to go back into there. So no threat was added, so we just get the one progress that we would have gone anyway. And then I'm definitely not going to engage him. Uh, I could tank him this turn, but I'll, I'll wait till next turn to do that. So refresh. Taste it again. Uh, let's do Steward of Gondor. One, two. And we'll move one to Merry. So now we can get down Bayorn for six, and we'll get down Gildor for five. Nice turn, that one. So now questing, there's six in there, and we can do one, two, three, four, five. I want to keep him back to try to murder this hill troll. Uh, so we could do five. Um, I could use his ability, maybe I want to quest with him. One, three, four, five. How much do we need to kill the troll? We can attack him for 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, which is enough. We need 13, so I need him as well. So let's just go with this, and I can use Faramir if I need to. Real 1, Troll Lair, so we're going up by 2. So I will use Faramir to boost our willpower by 2. And two. So we're just going to go up by 1 threat. 
and that is going to put a progress on there because we didn't make any progress. So now I'm going to travel to Hives and Hives. The reason being that it's going to get discarded once the Carrack becomes the active location. So we'll engage this Hill Troll now and deal out a Shadow card. So we draw a card for uh, engaging him with Pippin and we're ready Sam. So he is now 4 defense plus 2 from the Hobbit Cloak against this guy. So we'll defend it with him. Uh, minus one defense for the duration of this attack. Nasty. So he's actually going to take a wound. I believe that's right. He's one, two, three for being Steward of Gondor, plus one from his ability, plus two. Yeah, so that's okay. Now ready him. And let's see if we've got enough. One, two, three, four, five from Mary. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Which is enough to kill him. So let's go all in on that, and he'll go to the victory display with 9 damage on him. 10 damage, actually. So that is everything for that turn, I think. So now we'll refresh. really want to see a Gandalf soon. Um, nothing to do here except play this dagger for 1. And we'll trigger Steward of Gondor, get 2 more resources. And I think we probably want to move one of those from him to uh, Pippin, so we can get Elrond in if we need him. Okay. So questing, there's four in there right now. We're almost certainly going to take down a troll, so I'm going to quest with Sam for three and Pippin for two. So that's five. Um, we can do Faramir if we need to, so let's reveal one. Gladden Fields, so that's another three. So we'll do Faramir to go up by two willpower. So break even, no progress on Hives and Hives, which is good, because we don't want to deal any damage out. Um, but that means we have to put one progress on there. And that means the Carrack becomes the active location, and we discard Hives and Hives. And that one will go there. And that means the four troll enemies come into play into the staging area might have to use Bayorn here to kill uh, one of them so I'm going to take down Stuart again and we'll give him a shadow card and we'll draw a card from Pippin and ready Sam so he goes up to 4 defense uh, so we'll defend him with Sam he's a defending for 6 if the troll remove two damage tokens from it, not going to do anything. So ready him. And then we're attacking with Merry, who's got four base, five with the dagger. So do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Which is not quite enough to kill him because he's plus one defense from the Carrack. So he's going to take 10 damage. And that doesn't kill him because he's got one extra health from that Savage Hill Troll. So now we'll refresh. Okay, Henemarth. So that's helpful here because we can see what's coming and we can plan accordingly. So reveal one. River Lang Flood. Okay, ooh, plus one threat for each to troll enemy in play. That's nasty as hell. So two, three, four, five, six. That's going to be uh, that's a big problem. So, could have done taste it again to kill that guy, I realized there. I need to pay more attention to that card, definitely. So we're going to be eight, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 15, 18, 20. Ooh. I don't think we can quest for that much. We can do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... 10, 11, 12, 15, 16. So we'd go up by 4 threat. Well, I could play Build a Pony for another 2. And I probably need to play Elrond. So we'll move one resource there to there. And we'll play... Uh, no, I think I'll actually I'll go to the quest phase and I'll sneak attack Elrond. And that will let me um, heal a damage. So I'll heal... Sam up. Then we're going to have to quest like crazy and pull down another troll this turn. 
So do one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. <sighs> Close. Now, if I put in Mary as well, uh, I can do another three, which will get four on the carrack. So that's the best I can do. Um, I'd probably rather use him to try to kill Stuart in conjunction with Sam. Um, can I do that? I can defend Sam. He's a bit of three, five, so he shouldn't take any damage from Stuart. And then we'll ready him. No, I won't be able to do it. So I'll quest with Mary instead for another three. And we'll reveal this so we get four progress. One, two, three, four. Uh, we will do fast hitch and defend Stuart. Nothing. Now, I could taste it again, but he's only going to be three attack with that, so not worth it. So Elrond comes back to hand and we'll refresh. Another build a pony. Let's see what the card's going to be. Troll Lair. Okay, this is getting out of hand. Um, I really need to find Gandalf. So let's have a look at the top three and see if we can grab him. Oh, Halbarad's good as well. Uh, we'll take Gandalf and we'll put Steward of Gondor uh, back onto the top of our deck. And I want to rearrange those three um, to put Halbarad as the next card I get. So now we'll do plus two on Sam. And here we should probably play Elrond for three. One, two, three. Draw a card, which is Halbarad. One, two, three, four. Halbarad. And I need to play Gandalf, really. Um, I think I probably want to draw three cards as well. I want to lower my threat, but I can't because uh, we've got this troll lair in the staging area. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five to play Gandalf. And we can do four damage or draw a card. Well, if we do four damage to Rupert, we could potentially kill him, but I need to quest for a lot. So I'm going to take the draw and maybe we'll get Mablung. One, two, three. No, but we got a fast hitch, so I'll move a resource from Merry to Pippin. And I can play this guy and take an undefended attack, so let's do that. One, two. Okay, so questing, we're up against one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, twenty-two. And I need to clear the Karak out. Twenty-two in there, sorry. And I need two progress. I need to quest for 24. So I'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, sixteen. So 16 plus Faramir's ability will give me 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So I need one more willpower. And that can be Anborn. So we'll do that, play him in. And then we can do Faramir to go up by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we go to 25. Reveal Troll Lair. Just double check that I've got the threat right. Two, eight, 10, 13, 17, 22. So we make two progress and get rid of the Carrack, which is nice. And then we'll go to River Langflood, because that's by far the worst one in there. Okay, now I think we probably want to engage something. So let's engage Rupert. And he's higher than our uh, threat, so we'll draw a card. Ooh, good draw. So shadow cards. 
Now I can ready Sam as well. And he can defend uh, Stuart easily. So if we faint Rupert, we can kill Stuart no problem. I could also use Bayon to get rid of Rupert right now. Um, that might be a wise thing to do. He'll be attacking for eight, and I can use Merry twice. I can use both of them actually to murder the pair of them. So let's do it that way. Let's defend um, Stuart, I think, first. Let's see what his shadow card is. Nothing. So Sam was defending for one, two, three, four, five. So no damage. And we'll ready him and defend Rupert. So I want to save the feint, I think. No shadow effect, so no damage, because he's five against five. Now, do I want to play Taste It again? I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, um, which is not quite enough to kill him. So I'm going to play Taste It again. So I'm going to ready Sam, and he'll get plus two attack against Rupert, right? Uh, yep, yeah, plus two attack while attacking that enemy. Now I trigger Bayon, he's going to go up to eight attack. So we'll do eight, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, which will kill Rupert. And then we'll ready Bayon, and we'll do eight again, and kill Stuart. He only needs one more wound. So that worked out quite well. Now he gets shuffled back into my deck, Gandalf leaves play, and Elrond leaves play, shuffle my deck up, and go to the next turn. Alright, things are looking a bit more manageable now. Uh, I still can't lower my threat though, so I'd like to be able to do that. So we want to clear out River Langflood this turn. So let's get down the other fast hitch, I think, and we'll put that one onto Merry, so you can do a couple of attacks. We'll have a look at what the card's going to be. A muck adder. Not too bad. Only adding one threat. So 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 in there. And let's play the defender of Ramas. So he can do a chump block if we need him to. And I can move a resource to Merry if I need to as well. So let's go to quest phase now. And we'll do one, two, three, four, five, our standard quest. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And that ought to be enough with Faramir's ability to clear out this, I think, because we can do plus one, two, three, Four, five, six, which would take us to 18. So we reveal the muck adder. So I'll double check that I didn't miscount. 4, 8, 11, 13, 15. So we'll use Faramir to go up by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we go to 18, which gives us 3 progress on River Langflood. So that goes away. And now I'm going to travel to the troll lair. And we will engage the muck adder he's going to uh, engage us automatically. So I'll optionally engage uh, Louis. And that will ready Sam, and I'll draw a card, because his engagement cost is 47 between Pippin and Halberad. And now this Muckadder engages me. He's 23 normally, but as soon as he engages me, he becomes 33. So I can draw another card and ready Sam again. So he is going to have three... Five, seven defense now. All right, let's defend the Muckadder first. And here he is 33, so he has a uh, higher engagement cost. If attacking enemy is a troll, defending character is not ready during the refresh phase this round. It's not a troll, so it doesn't do anything. Uh, now I will ready him. And we'll defend Louis, or Louis if you're French. Forced after Louis attacks, the defending player must raise his threat by three. So we'll do that in a second. Whoops, I don't know why he's getting any damage. 
reveal that one. Ooh, if it's a troll, resolve this card's when revealed effect. So somebody's getting sacked. That's going to be Pippin. So he'll go there. Um, no damage. Raise your threat by three, though. And then attacking back. Uh, what can we do? We can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So not quite enough to kill him. So we'll faint him next turn, I think. So we'll kill the Muckadder with Merry, and then ready him. And we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's going to do six damage to him because he's plus one defense from Stuart. Uh, now we'll refresh. All right, so another copy of Hennemarth, not a great draw. What we'll do is we'll pull a resource over from Sam to Merry, and we'll play the other dagger onto Merry. And we'll play Staff of Levithron onto Sam. And now that's all I want to do this turn, I think, because I've got a resource for the faint for Louis. So we're up against 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 in the staging area. We'll reveal a card for Hanamarth. Makadar again, so only one more, so it's going to be 9 in there. So we will quest for 1, 2, 3. Uh, he can't quest and actually doesn't get resources, right? Cannot, uh, yeah. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, uh, 4. Five, six, seven, and using Faramir, I'll go up by three. So I'd like to clear out the troll there as well. So if we quest with Halberad, we'll go to nine, and then we'll go up by one, two, three, four. So not quite enough. Uh, so we need to quest with Anborn as well, I think. If I go in with Anborn and Barleyman instead, it still won't be enough, will it? I'll get... So now I'm 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, plus 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, which will give 5. So that would be enough, I think. So we'll reveal the Makada, double check the maths. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Good. Get rid of Troll Air. Small maths need to be your forte if you're going to play Lord of the Rings LCG. Travel to the Troll Air. Engage the Muck Adder. So that's 33, so I don't get to ready Sam now. So I will deal out Shadow Cards. So I'm going to faint Louis. And I'll defend Makado with Defender of Ramas. Doesn't do anything. So no damage on him. And I'll ready Sam. Fast hitch. And we can do an attack on the Makado with Merry. And he's got four anyway, so he can die. He's actually attacking with a base five now. Ready him. And we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, and that ought to be enough to kill him. He's going to take 8 wounds, so he will die. And that shadow card goes away, which is good because it's another troll, so he goes to the victory display, and now all trolls are going to do plus 1 uh, threat every time they attack. Okay, so now we'll refresh. Alright, sneak attack. So. Um, be nice to get another Gandalf now. So let's have a look at what the top card is going to be this turn. River Langflood. So that is going to be three threat. One, two, three. I'll just use defense for that. Um, so let's see if we can grab Gandalf now. So look at the top three cards of the deck. Uh, no Gandalf, but Bayon and Boromir. That's nice. So let's swap... Um, I can't play either of them just yet, but let's take in Boromir and put Steward on the top of the deck. I'll just reshuffle those again because you can put.
put them back in any order with Gildor. So I'll put that one there and that one there. He does let you do that, right? Yep. Okay. Um, so now we can do Steward of Gondor for two. He doesn't collect a resource, um, but I killed a unique troll actually, so I can trigger the response from conflict at the Carrack and get rid of the sacked card. Uh, so he would have gotten that resource. So I think we'll just go to the quest phase. And we can, let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in the staging area. And it'd be nice to clear out the troll there as well. Oh, I should get the next quest card, by the way. It's been ages. Um, so we need to kill this last troll to get to the last stage now. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and that can put us up by five with Faramir's ability. So request for nine, reveal the Riverlang Flood, and we'll use Faramir to go up by five. Let's go get 14. So that'll put five on Troll Lair, so that goes away. And then we'll travel to the Riverlang Flood, and we'll engage Morris and get ready to smash him. So he's going to engage us. He is now... 47 engagement cost because of Halbrad, so I'll draw a card and ready Sam. Gets a shadow card, so he's plus one defense and he's going to raise our threat by one when he attacks. Uh, so we can defend him with Sam. He's defended for one, two, three, four, five, six. Look at his shadow card, nothing, so no damage. Then we'll ready him. And I'll just do as much damage as we can and probably kill him off next turn. So we'll do one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Uh, so that's going to put 10 on him. Uh, so he's not quite dead yet because he's got plus 1 health from the Savage Hill Troll. And I'm going to move a resource from Sam to Merry. Uh, if that works, there we go. And then we'll refresh. New turn, fast hitch. Uh, let's see if we can find... Gandalf again. So we'll look at the top three. There he is. He's always hiding in the deck somewhere. So we'll take him and we'll put the other steward on top of the deck. And then I'll just put them back in the order I want them in. Put that uh, dagger there. All right, good. Uh, so now we'll move a resource from Sam to Merry and we'll use Steward of Gondor to get another two. And I'm going to play Boromir four and now in the I could do that in the quest phase but I don't think I will I think I'll save the sneak attack Gandalf for this turn we don't really need to use it so let's have a look at what the cards gonna be all right so a chill troll uh, did I raise my threat for that attack by the troll uh, no I didn't so I'll raise my threat by one so here we probably just want to clear out River Langflood and get that one on there. Um, so we'll do, let's see, we're up against four and we need eight. So I'll put that to eight and I'll put it to four, sorry. So we can do three with Sam, but if I engage him, um, his engagement cost is actually 24 plus 10 with Halberad, so he's only only 34, so uh, that won't help me. So I think we'll probably keep Sam out for this turn. So we'll do one, two, three, four. And do we want to sneak attack Gandalf here? I think this is probably a decent time to do it. So we'll play the sneak attack and we'll put him in and lower our threat by five. And we'll quest with him as well. So we're doing eight. So we reveal the Savage Hill Troll. So we get four, one, two, three, four. That goes away. So I think we can afford to travel to Gladden Fields now. It doesn't matter if we have to raise our threat by another one. Gandalf comes back to hand and we will engage the Savage Hill Troll. So now um, he's 34 because of Halberad and Pippin. So that allows me to draw a card because I'm now 32. Shadow cards for these guys. I could also ready Sam there as well. Uh, so he'll be one extra defense. So I will defend... Morris with Sam. 
Use Defender for one, two, three, four, five, six because of the Hobbit cloak. Reveal this one. Nothing. And I'll ready him. And I've been using that staff, by the way. So let's make use of that now and just get rid of this shadow card by doing that. Doesn't do anything. Uh, so no damage from him either. Now attacking back, we can probably want to kill that guy first. Uh, although it doesn't really make a huge amount of difference. I'll do Merry um, on him. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I need to raise my threat by one, by the way. So actually, he won't be higher than my engagement cost here. So I'm going to do him five. And he needs another one, two, because he has another health. Uh, so we need one, two, three, ten. So he's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that gets rid of him. So of course that gives plus one health to Morris, but he's so close to death anyway, it doesn't really matter. So we can ready Anborn for Mary's ability, and we'll just fast hitch Mary. And then we can attack this guy for seven, and he's going to die straight away because he's three defense, so he's going to take four wounds from that. Uh, so now that's going to flip the next stage of the quest. So when revealed, add Rob and Bob to the staging area. Go and get them there. Then each player must search the encounter deck and discard part for a non-unique troll enemy and add it to the staging area if able, shuffle the encounter deck. So let's see what's in the encounter deck itself. All right, one of those guys, I'm just going to grab that. Easiest thing to do. And then we have to raise our threat by one for the Gladden Fields and we'll start a new turn. All right, let's see what the card's going to be. Uh... Do I shuffle that one? Yeah, when you look at it, you shuffle it, don't you? So let's see what the card is. All right, sacked. Uh, it's going to go on Pippin then. No threat, though. So it's going to be five in the staging area. And let's figure out what their attack is. So he's coming in for six. And he's got five defense. And this guy's going to be four. And he's got three defense. So here, we just want to play all our best stuff, really. So we'll fast hitch uh, Sam for one. And we will play Gandalf, I think, for five. One, two, three, four, five. And I either draw three or do four damage. Or I could lower my threat, actually, which would allow me to... Uh, ready Sam. So let's do that. We'll lower our threat by five. And then questing, we only need five. Um, but we want to clear that one as well. This doesn't have any progress on the other side of it. So I've hard cast him, so I'm not going to quest with him. We'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, because he's about to get sacked. And that's going to give us two. So I'll use Faramir to go up by two more. Reveal sacked, goes on Pippin, no big deal. Get four progress, one, two, three, four. So that goes to the victory display as well. Um, as in the real victory display. And then we'll engage um, both of these guys. So I will optionally engage Rob and Bob. And this guy will automatically engage. When he engages me, he goes up by plus 10, so he's 34. So we get to draw two. And I can ready Sam twice. So he's going up by plus two defense now. So he's five plus two, so he's seven. So we will uh, deal out some shadow cards. So no feints allowed here. So let's defend Rob and Bob with Sam, who's defended for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we'll discard their shadow card. So not going to do anything. So no damage from him. Ready Sam and defend the Savage Hill Troll with him as well. Sam the super defender in this deck. No damage from that guy because he's attacking for four. And then all we need to do now is absolutely slaughter Rob and Bob. So that's ready Sam. He's attacking for three. Do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fourteen, seventeen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four. So that's enough to completely slaughter them. 
So there we go guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed that playthrough. As you can see there were some small mistakes at the end. For example, I quested for 9 inexplicably when I had only 7. Um, I had plenty of allies to account for that one though. And I made a few other small maths mistakes. I also triggered Pippin a couple of times when I shouldn't have been able to, but that was in the late game. I recorded that video quite late at night, so I was pretty tired by that point, to be honest with you. So I hope you'll forgive those small mistakes, and thank you for watching the video. I hope you found it enjoyable, and that you enjoyed the playthrough, and I will see you in the next one.